Hello everybody, Magagol number 5, third secondary, 10 writing, pages 76 and 77. Now let's take a look at the objectives in this lesson. You should be able at the end of the lesson to write a letter about advertisement at schools, whether they are good or bad. راح نكتب رسالة عن الإعلانات في المدارس هل هي سيئة أو جيدة طبعا this is based on your own point of view or your own opinion بناء على رأيك الشخصي okay? So right now I'd like you to move to pages 76 and 77 and let's start by discussing what we have here طبعا كالعادة يكون عندنا text ومن خلال التكست نحلله وبعدين you are supposed to write so let's take a look at uh, a section now you are asked do you enjoy writing by hand why and why not هل يعني تستمتع في الكتابة بخط يدك why or why not okay if you do just uh, tell me why if you don't you can also tell me why you don't enjoy writing by hand now, do you think handwriting, طبعا هي اللي هو خط اليد, is a useful skill, why or why not? هل الكتابة باليد مهارة جيدة or not? Okay. Now we have a text, and the text is called, is handwriting obsolete? هل عفى الزمن على خط اليد? You are asked to read the text and find out. مطلوب أن أنتوا تقرؤون النص وتبحثون عن إجابة لهذه الأسئلة. طبعا I took a chance to scan, scan it and skim it يسمونها skinning and scanning scanning and skimming okay uh, and I have answered the questions now let's go through these questions in brief now in the first question you are asked what does handwriting involve Actually, to the handwriting, so the definition is mainly in the first paragraph. I've highlighted it in uh, in yellow. So handwriting involves uh, for, uh, forming letters with a writing implement. طبعاً وبقية اللي هي التعريف حق الهاندرايتنج. Now, why are some people not keen on writing by hand? ليش بعض الناس مش ما عندهم المهارة إنهم يكتبون بخط اليد mainly because they prefer word processor or word processing اللي هي مثل الورد وهكذا now what can a specialist find out about someone through his or her handwriting طبعا في بعض الأشخاص يقدرون يحللون شخصية الشخص من خلال خط يده so they analyze they can analyze the handwriting to determine the character the traits the gender the personality and emotional state or the authenticate uh, or to authenticate documents okay so this is يعني اللي العلماء او الاخصائيين ايش يقولون لما مثلا يشوفون خط يدك now why is word processing popular مثل الورد وهكذا وبعض البرامج mainly because they are ليش هم طبعا مثل ما في السؤال ليش هم لهم شعبية because طبعا انتو عارفين ان word processing في spelling check في احيانا ممكن يعطيك alternative expression or so so it is fast efficient and it makes editing so much easier you can delete copy paste store versions of your work throughout stages of editing طبعا إلى هنا اللي هو ليه هم يعني ال word processing why it is so popular this is the reason of that okay now which types of tests are mentioned and what is the difference between them طبعا في نوعين من الامتحانات some are computer based يعتمدون على الكمبيوتر and some are pen and paper test طبعا pen and paper test they require writing by hand within a set time limit طبعا وعارفين ان الكمبيوتر رايس تيست يو نيد ذا كمبيوتر اور سو اوكي now as for the last question you are asked about the writer's point of view or own opinion on that matter or on that issue which is in here handwriting and if you agree or disagree and why mainly عادة يكون رأي الكاتب يكون في آخر paragraph and I'm just gonna tell you 
يعني اورالي راح اخبر بيها راح اقول لكم شفهيا what the writer thinks on that issue so the writer is actually as I have understand is in favor of technological advances that allows us to do things efficiently by he uh, but he sorry as well also keen to preserve the skill of writing by hand without the help of a device طبعا الرايتر مثل ما فهمته انه في وجهه نظره انه يفضل تقدم التكنولوجي لكن برضو يعتقد انه من المهم جدا المحافظه على مهاره الكتابه بخط اليد So this is regarding uh, the comprehension uh, questions about this text اللي هي الأسئلة الفهم عن هذا النص Now let's move on to uh, the writing questions part اللي هي how to analyze the style of writing مطلوب أن احنا read the text again and identify the thesis statement and the supporting statement قبل ما نبدأ بس أحب أعرفكم عن الفرق بين thesis statement اللي هي الفكرة الرئيسية وال supporting statement اللي هي الأشياء اللي تدعم اللي هي مش الفكرة الرئيسية تدعمها سواء تكون أحيانا details, information, argument وهكذا يعني يكون supporting تدعم الفكرة So I've uh, underlined each uh, thesis statement in each paragraph. في كل paragraph طبعا هو يكون في thesis statement فكرة عامة لكل التكست ويكون أحيانا في thesis statement أو غالبا في كل paragraph. So I've uh, underlined each uh, thesis statement in red. You can just go back and read them. Okay, and طبعا عادة الثيتس ستيتمنت عادة الفكرة الرئيسية أو الجملة الرئيسية تكون اللي هي للفكرة الرئيسية للنص تكون أو للبارجراف تكون عادة عادة في السطر الأول. Now as for the supporting statements, uh, they are the information provided, the details will argument in each paragraph. They are used as a supporting statement. Now as for the fifth question, you are asked here. To differentiate نك تفرق بين هذا التكست وبين the expository essay اللي هي المقال التفسيري طبعا ممكن ترجعون للدرس اللي أخذنا فيها ال expository essay وتحاولون to analyze each style and to differentiate between them okay so this is regarding the text now let's move on to section B which is mainly relevant to the writing part as I said previously مثل ما قلت لكم سابقا you are mainly asked to write a letter on an issue عن أمر يعني and you have to state your own opinion الأشياء اللي راح نكتب عنها is advertising at schools good or bad and you are supposed to write a letter about that now you have to first decide whether or not you support advertising in schools هل تدعم الإعلانات في المدرسة you have to think about reasons why advertising in schools is a good or bad idea طبعا لازم تدعم فكرتك أو يعني لازم الواحد يعرف إذا كانت good لازم تجيب أشياء تدعم الفكرة حقيقتك إذا كانت bad لازم برضو تستخدم أفكار أو أسباب تدعم فكرتك You can use the organizer to write So here we have an organizer يعني mainly brainstorming Advertising in schools Is it a good idea or is not a good idea طبعا depending on what you decide on Later, you have to write a letter to your local newspaper about this topic, trying to convince the reader that your view is correct. طبعا تحاول ت ت يعني تكتب رسالة عشان تدعم إن فكرتك صحيحة. Now you know how to write the letter. طبعا you are writing a letter to someone who you do not know. طبعا عادة تكون العلاقة formal. And don't forget to start with dear. طبعا وطبعا you can greet the person or you can just get to the chase يعني تبدأ على طول and you can say يعني you state your thesis statement to تكتب عن الأسباب and to sum up هنا طبعا uh, in res uh, response to the last and then first moreover and to sum up اللي هي الملخص as for the writing corner you can just go through the writing corner by yourself and you can just help These uh, guidelines will help you how to on how to write a, a letter, and this is all. فطبعا انت يعني you can just go through that this. Until next time, have a good one.